Scientists at the Temba Labs conduct experiments for different applications. They do top-level research in nuclear astrophysics using the K600 high-resolution magnetic spectrometer. You get to challenge uh, your brain, your critical thinking skills. You get to hone them every day because you, uh, there is a lot of unknown uh, in our field. So realizing or figuring out that unknown is the part that, that excites me the most and it drives me to even do more complicated things. So more research and I would say, yeah, it's challenging, but in a good way. And also it helps me to keep, it keeps me on my toes in the sense that I'm always looking for new physics uh, to research. In the Tandatron laboratory, researchers conduct tests related to material science. So the fundamental work that we do here with the materials uh, analysis and characterizations um, have direct implications into the development of new materials and, its and, and new technologies. It's fun, it's engaging and um, it will it, it fuels passion and creativity again. So um, also if you're more inclined towards problem solving and like mathematics and like working with your hands uh, science is good because so, science is good for you you should they should do it and there are opportunities to do that science for girls especially radio biologists here also have an important function they measure the extent of dna damage caused by radiation and monitor how repair mechanisms play out in cells following exposure we have a few projects that's running uh, one of them is to do uh, theranostics. So that's uh, theranostics means the therapod is treatment and nostics is to diagnose. So we want to develop a, a, a novel theranostics that can be like a personalized uh, treatment for, for cancer patients. So with the radioisotopes that we make here. The 2023 South African Science, Technology and Innovation Indicators report shows a notable surge in the proportion of female authors in university publications, climbing from 31% in 2005 to almost 42% in 2021. Kevin Brandt, Cape Town.